while I was sitting here, sorry guys, while I was sitting here, the Lord uh, said something to me. He said, you don't compete with yourself to get bitter. Or like, look at what I was in the past. Look at how I, in my case, preached in the past. It was so powerful, I could never preach like that again. He said, you compete, you, 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 you compete with yourself to get better, not bitter. He's like, a lot of people, uh, when they look at their past, they get bitter. Because either like me, they feel they'll never be that way again. And it's time for them to just give up and throw in the towel. Or the past was so bad, it could never get better in the future. He's like, don't let your past, failures, successes, whatever, make you bitter. Let them make you better. So don't let your past, whatever it is, make you bitter and resentful. Let it make you better. Take the lessons from your past, positive or negative, and use them to grow. Don't use them to stay stagnant. A lot of people um, use, use their past and stay stagnant. Stay stagnant, just stay right where they are. But God wants you to grow through your past not stay stagnant in your past and just stay stuck there and say, this is how it's always been. This is how it will always be. No, this is not how it will always be. This is not how it's always been. Your best days are not behind you. They're in front of you. And better is yet to come. Better is yet to come more revelation, more understanding of who you are is yet to come. Thank you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.